In this video, you will learn to represent a part of a whole by using a fraction, how to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number, and how to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction. So dealing first with proper fractions. What we mean by a proper fraction is it's a fraction that is less than one. So for example, if you have two over three, this would be a proper fraction. So with a fraction, the top of the fraction has a fancy word given to it. And the word we give is called the numerator. And same thing with the bottom of the fraction. We have a fancy word for the bottom of the fraction, and that is called the denominator. Now what a fraction means is it means a part of a whole. So in the following picture, we see a circle, it could be like a pie or pizza or whatever, and we have it split up into three equal parts. Well, we have shaded in two of those three parts. So we can write this as a fraction. We have two over three, or two thirds, as we say it, of this whole circle is shaded. So a fraction represents a portion of the whole. Now on a number line, if you're looking at the numbers, we have here zero and one. Zero is the same thing as zero thirds. And then here we have one thirds, and then two thirds, and then three thirds, which is the same thing as one. So looking at it this way, so we have zero, one, two, and three thirds. We have shaded in two out of three, right? We have shaded in two of these tick marks right here, one, two, two out of the three marks total. So again, we have two thirds here on this number line. It is two out of three or two thirds of the way from zero to one. And then looking here at this other picture, if we had three circles and two of them are orange, we can say that two over three or two thirds of the circles are orange. So again, we have the fraction representing a portion of the entire quantity of circles. Okay, and also it's worth noting that fractions are also another way to express division. So if we have two over three, that is the same thing as two divided by three. So you can say it as two divided by three or as a fraction, two over three. And by the way, for proper fraction, we mentioned that the fraction must be less than one. Another way to think of this is that the numerator must be smaller than the denominator. If it's the other way around, if the numerator is bigger than the denominator, then that is what we call an improper fraction. So it's greater than one, and it's where the numerator is larger than the denominator. So for example, if we had eight over three, this would be improper because the numerator, the top, is bigger than the denominator, the bottom. So for example, if we had eight over three, if we look at this with pictures, what that means is if we had three pies or pizzas or whatever, what that means is if we split them all into thirds, so we have three equal parts for each of these pizzas, we'd have to shade in eight, eight different thirds. So we have one, so like one, two, three thirds, four, five, six thirds, and then seven, eight thirds shaded in. So notice when we do that, we're gonna have more than one. We have two and then two thirds. All right, so this is three thirds. Here's another three thirds. And then here's two more thirds being shaded in. All that together would give me eight thirds. And this is an improper fraction. And by the way, this um, shows us as well how to add fractions. Uh, when you add fractions, the denominator must be the same. So we have the bottom is all threes. And then to add them together, we simply add the numerators. So we add three plus three plus two, that gives us eight thirds, so eight over three. And another way to think of this, three thirds is one entire 
uh, one entire quantity. So in this case, like one pizza or one pie. And then here, uh, again, three thirds is one, one whole, um, one whole pizza or pie or whatever. And then here we have two thirds. Okay, that is the same as we had before. So if we put all that together, one plus one is two. What we have is two and then two thirds. So we can write this as two and two thirds, which is what we call a mixed number. Because we have mixed this whole number, this two as a whole number, mix that with the fraction, which is two thirds. So that is a mixed number. So from here, our objective is to know how to convert between improper fractions and mixed numbers, and between mixed numbers and improper fractions. So let's finish off with that. Here in this slide, we are converting from improper fractions to mixed numbers. So how do we do this? Well, example one, we have 14 over five. And the way to do this is, as we mentioned previously in the lesson, and that is the fact that the fraction is another way of representing division. So to convert, what we do is we need to divide the 14 by the five. And that's what we see right here, 14 divided by five. So if we go through that process, five goes into 14 two times, so put a two here, then multiply two times five to get 10, subtract, and we get four. And then uh, from here, we don't want a decimal. So up to this point, we've been doing a lot with decimals. Uh, but to write as a fraction, we can just take this four and write it over the five. So four over five would be the fraction part of this answer. So the mixed number would be written as two and four fifths. Let's try another example. Here we have 43 over six. And our objective is to write this as a mixed number. Again, this fraction means division. So we take 43 divided by six. So to do this, six goes into 43 seven times without going over. So we put a seven up here. Then we multiply seven times six to get 42. We subtract, we get one. So the remainder is one, which we can write as a fraction. This would be one over the six. So the answer would be seven and one over six. So the mixed number is seven and one six. Okay, so we've learned how to convert from improper fractions to mixed numbers. Next, we need to go the other way. So if you're given a mixed number, how do we convert to an improper fraction? So there's two ways to do this. There's a longer way and a shorter way. I'm gonna show you both, but our objective um, is to be able to do this quickly with the shorter way. All right, so the longer way is if we have a mixed number such as one and one third, what we want to do is we want to write the, the whole number as a fraction. So this one, we want to write as a fraction of some sort. The fraction we want to write it as must have the same denominator as the fraction over here. And this fraction is in thirds. So we want to write one as something over three. And that would be three over three. So if we take three over three plus the one over three, put those together, we can add the numerators, three plus one to get four over three. So my improper fraction would be four thirds. Okay, let's try it one more time with a uh, bigger number. Here we have five and three fourths. So again, using this longer method, we want to write the number five, this whole number, as something over four, because that is the fraction over here. So how do we write five or five over one as something over four? Well, to do that, one times four gives us four for the bottom. Do the same thing on the top. Five times four is 20 on the top. So the five I can write as 20 over four. And then I put that together with a three over four. So when I add those together, 20 over four plus three over four, we add the numerators, 20 plus three, to get 23 over four. All right, so this method works and you will get the correct answer, but our objective is to do this quicker. 
All right, so let's show you method two, which is the short way. So let's take a look at the same fractions. Here we have one and one third. I've color coordinated this to help you kind of visualize what we're doing. So the process is as follows. We take the one here times the three here, and then we add that with the one up here. And that gives us the numerator. So if I do one times three plus one, that gives us the numerator. And we know it's gonna be uh, something over three because we need to keep the same denominator. So the, so the denominator would stay as a three. So the numerator is one times three plus one, which would give us four. So the final answer is four over three. Okay, let's try another example. Here we're using again the five and three fourths example. And again, to do this, we know it's gonna be something over four. The question is, what is the numerator? So to find the numerator, we do five times four plus three. And that gives us the numerator, which would be 23. Five times four is 20, 20 plus three is three. So it's 23 on the top over four on the bottom. And notice for each of these methods, we do have the same solution, four thirds and four thirds, 23, uh, 23 fourths and 23 fourths. So this does work and the shortcut way is the preferred method. Let's try one more example with a different fraction. Here we have six and seven eighths. So we know the denominator is gonna be eight, that's the bottom. The numerator, all we do is we take six times eight plus seven. So six times eight plus seven, we have 48 plus seven, which is 55. So our solution is gonna be 55 over eight. So in this lesson, we have learned how to work with fractions, both proper and improper fractions, as well as converting uh, between mixed numbers and improper fractions. And that concludes our lesson for today. We will see you next time.